in this aptitude hack series i am going to give you shortcuts to solve any complex aptitude question within seconds in your examination today our topic is dice and i promise you by the end of this video you can solve any complex question within 6 seconds a standard dice always follows a particular sequence that the summation of opposite sides is always equal to 7 but let me make it very clear in your examination he never gives you a standard dice i am talking about a standard dice with which you play your games always the opposite side summation will be equals to 7 for example see this question which number is on the opposite plane of 3 you did not think much there is only one dice combination given if he has given two or more than two combination then obviously it is not a standard dice but if you have only one dice given and asking what is the opposite number blindly you know that the summation of opposite planes is equals to 7 so 3 plus this x should be equals to 7 obviously on the opposite side you will be having the number 4 take it you will be getting your one mark similarly what if you have 2 what should be the opposite side 2 plus 5 will give you 7 so obviously 5 will be your answer this is about a standard dice now let us talk about non-standard dice the dice which we generally get in our examination it could be combination of two dice or three dice or something like this fold it to form a cube and tell me which number is opposite to which number these are the practical questions which we do encounter in our examinations so these type of questions obviously you can solve this by thinking for a minute or for 30 seconds but I am going to give you a method in which you can solve this question within 6 seconds and you need not recheck it and waste your time. So coming to this method you can do it in two ways one if you can find any object which resembles dice to you for example an eraser and another way in which you can't find any such object. So let us see in the first simple method in which you have an object which resembles a dice which has six surfaces for example this eraser what you have to do is you just have to write down the numbers for example here he on the top i have two on the sides i have three and five now coming to the second cube now coming to the second dice five is at the top so let me see from the top five is here two is on the side on the other side there is four on the other side there is 4 that's it this is the information given in these two diagrams now let us see the question which number is on opposite plane of 3 which number is on opposite plane of 3 just see this on 3 opposite plane you will find number 4 just tick on that number 4 and you will be getting your one mark within 6 seconds and you need not apply any concept or think twice and this method is 100% correct you need not recheck again for your answer and you can move to the next question and save that 54 odd seconds right so solve this next question based on this method whatever i have taught you now let me teach you one more method in case in case if you don't have any object which resembles a dice no dice available even in this case there is one simple method which you can follow what is that simple method you can follow let me solve using this question this is your homework question number six let me solve this question he is saying when a given figure is folded to form a cube then which face is opposite to the face with two he just want what is the number which is on the opposite face of two you don't have any object which resembles dice for example you are writing gate examination you are entering only with pen and paper the to which the examiner gives you in that case what you have to do is just write on your finger your finger will act as a dice with six faces right it has six faces one two three four front and back that will be your six faces now let us solve this question so i have three and four so i will write three on my thumb and four going good so above 3 there is 1 so 3 and 4 I wrote parallelly and above it there is 1 so I will be writing 1 at the top so above 1 there is 6 so on this side I am writing 6 so all these faces are done so below 4 I have 2 and 5 
so this is my four phase below that i have two and here below two i have five that's it my cube is ready so opposite to the two this is my two and opposite to that two i have one so one is my answer i need not apply any concept obviously there will be lot of videos on youtube which will teach you concept but i am here to teach you shortcut you need not waste your time and energy by adding any formulas or the concept or combination of numbers all you have to do is to just write down on finger solve it within 6 seconds and this is 100% proof there is no chance of going wrong and you can go to the next question and save 54 valuable seconds and ace your aptitude exam for more hack series stay on with target ies if you like this video do share with your loved ones if you don't like this video do share with the people who you hate. Have a nice day.